if we have access to the data, the AI systems can actually help do that. That being weather forecasting, which already has its challenges with lake effect snow, perhaps the most problematic due to its unpredictability. But that could change with the aid of artificial intelligence, commonly abbreviated as AI. The AI can check all the different weather related variables, even for snow accumulation in real time and check it every second or even half second so that it can even see a small, very tiny, minute deviation from that baseline that we probably as humans would no not normally notice until the variation got much larger. The AI can help them make better predictive models, help the meteorologists, you know, again, forecast better what's going to happen, forecast to a more accurate level of snow accumulation, for example, figure out the lake effect. AI can provide better accuracy in predictive modeling and improve the forecaster's ability to react to real-time data. However, one of the downsides is the implicit bias of human nature. So some of the things that we do, we do from intuition, may actually play against us. And because we taught that to the AI and made part of its kind of calculation, it sometimes might make a pretty erroneous mistake in that regard because it's, it's factoring that bias in. Now, the reason we haven't seen more AI use in forecasting, though, is partly due to cost. However, the good news is that as technology drops in cost over time, IoT, Internet of Things, sensors have gotten very cheap. Despite advancements in AI, meteorologists shouldn't worry about losing their jobs, since AI is not designed to replace their abilities. There's a lot of things that people are much better than machines at, like, you know, intuition, dealing with first-of-a-kind situations. What we found is that when it's a person using these tools, so basically complementing their own capabilities with machine abilities, they always outperform the AI system.